let's take a look at a uh, 4 to 20 milliamp loop and we're going to convert that to 1 to 5 volts and we're going to do it with a 10 ohm resistor now the easiest thing to do is use a uh, 250 ohm resistor because if you use a 250 ohm resistor 4 milliamps into 250 ohm gives you 1 volt and 20 milliamps into 250 ohm resistor gives you 5 volts so you're all set to go here's a diagram to uh, to use to do it that way you've got your transducer here now these transducers here uh, this one's good from 7 to 35 volts that's 7 to 35 volts also so depending on your transducer you can just uh, put in your voltage in there and then coming out here it's going to go to the analog input on your uh, uh, controller there okay and you're going to put in one to five volts and it's going to kind of correspond to how much uh, uh, pressure you have over here so uh, but we're going to do it with a 10 ohm resistor and so the advantage of using a 10 ohm resistor is that if the current must pass through a, you know a bunch of different components sensors controllers and monitoring devices or you have a, ca a long cable run then you know a large voltage drop due to the uh, higher resistance can cause a signal distortion or prevent the signal from reaching its downstream device properly now i have gone 600 uh, meters with a uh, 4 to 20 milliamp loop but that's that's kind of pushing the boundary on that so we're going to try it with a 10 ohm resistor and in if the voltage drop across the 10 ohm resistor at 4 milliamps is 0.04 volts and the voltage drop across the 10 ohm resistor at 20 milliamps is 0.2 volts okay now if you can it's better off to use the uh, the 250 ohms uh, because it has the higher uh, higher resistance uh, and it's going to improve the uh, signal to noise ratio okay but if you have to we can use the the 10 ohm resistor so what we're going to do now is we have to find out the gain we're going to just have to use an op amp to bring that back up to the one to five volts so we need to find the gain of the op amp we need okay so the change in input voltage is from 0.2 to 0.04 so that's 0.16 volts difference and the change in the output is it's five minus the one that's going to be four so we divide that out we get 25 so we need an op amp with a gain of 25. so in this op amp here i'm going to put the um, you can see that i'm gonna it's not, i'm gonna put uh, it's on the uh, non-inverting input and this is how i'm hooking it up and so the gain is equal to one plus the rf over rg rf is the feedback resistor and rg is a resistor tied to ground so it's uh we get rid of the one there put that on the other side so we have 24. so uh rf needs to be 24 times uh rg okay so I was going to pick a two, uh, 2K and a 48K, but I didn't have a 48K. I had a 200K, so that's 50K. And then I put a pod in here to uh, to adjust it to get my right uh, to get the right uh, ratio there. So I have my 24 uh, gain of 24. So uh, well, we're going to give it a try. I've got 12 volts into the op amp here, and so here's the op amp here and uh, what i have here is a uh, this is a loop simulator okay and we use that to test these loops uh it puts out current or voltage or just you can use it as a two-wire loop there so uh i'm going to put i'm going to put it on 20 uh, current source 20 milliamps so i should have five volts i've got a little over five volts um, and so I could I could turn that down a little bit I could adjust that but let's call that five and then I'm going to put it to um, to uh, four milliamps and I have 0.06 volts so yeah it's working you know you got between one and five volts there of course uh, you know it's on a breadboard here with a bunch of uh, loose components and uh, but I go from uh, you know one volt to five volts okay and uh, so it works with a uh, the 10 ohm resistor and uh, you know most of the time you're going to use a 250 ohm resistor that's going to be a lot better but if you had to you could use it you could use a 10 ohm 10 ohm resistor for that anyway that's the 4 to 20 milliamp loop with the 10 ohm resistor and uh, yeah thank you